Hello everyone, welcome to Vocabulary with Henna. Um, I'm sure you can see the join class green button on top now, so as soon as you join, we can begin. Hi, Rasal. Hello. Nice to see you again. Thanks. <laughs> and we have Hazim. Hi, Hazim, can you hear me? I think you're muted, Hazim. You have to unmute yourself. Yeah. Yeah? Just, Hi, I'm, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I am, I am doing great. Thank you. That's perfect. So this yeah, class I, was... Yeah, go ahead. Hello. Finally, I, yeah. Hi. Hi. Here we are. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello. Yes, it's Ahla. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Fine, thank you. This is my first time in your class. Yeah, I actually, I know you're sometimes in my classes in the chat box, but it's my first time speaking with you as well. Oh, I'm really honored to have you. Oh, no, thank you so much for joining. Um, so as soon as we have a couple of more people join, we will begin. So our topic today, it's, it, we're doing um, two crossword puzzles, and the uh, topic for them is personality types. So um, I've attached a Google document. Was everybody able to open it? No. Okay. Can you post it okay. to Yeah. I'll actually, I'll attach it. There you go. So those are the, the there's two crossword puzzles that we'll be doing. First is personality types, and the other is very a very similar topic called traits and feelings. So um, I'm going to be sharing my screen uh, with the crossword puzzle, um, uh, and I'm going to be helping you guys very minimally. So you will be telling me what to write, and I'm just going to write it. And uh, if we need help, then I will be using the hint button. Okay. 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 So uh, before we begin, uh, let's everybody let's go and have a quick round of introductions. Uh, say where everybody is from. Okay. So my name is Henna, and right now I am in San Francisco in California, but I'm originally from Canada. Okay. So Ahla. Yeah. This is Ahla. I'm from Saudi Arabia, and uh, uh, I'm really glad to be in your class. I'm really happy to have you as well. Thanks, Ahla. Thank you. Okay, next we have Hazim. Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Hazim. I am the Canadian. Sorry, where are you from, Hazim? Uh, I am originally from Syria. Syria. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Okay, next we have Juan. Hey, everyone. My name is Juan Manuel. I am from Mexico. Okay, thanks. Uh, Manal? Yeah, hi, my name is Manal and I'm from Oman. Okay. Uh, next we have Rasal. Hello, I'm Rasal and I'm from New York, Albany. Okay, thank you. And Yusuf. Yes, hello, I'm Yusuf. I'm from Yemen. Okay, so welcome everyone. So, has everybody been able to open the uh, Google document? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to share my screen. And I won't be able to see anybody or the uh, or the chat box. So if somebody is typing something very very important in the chat box, please read it out to me because I won't be able to see it otherwise. All right. Okay. Okay. Can everybody see this? Yeah. Can everybody see like the crossword screen? Not too clearly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's not clear. It's not clear? Yeah. Mm, okay, let's see. <clears throat> okay, it looks pretty clear. Okay, what about what about now? Let me see if I can make it bigger. What about now? Mm, a little better. 
A little better? Okay. Is that okay? <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully as we're going along, you'll get better. But you all have the, uh, so the descriptions for the words are all down here. And I've given them to you on the Google document. So if you can't read this, that's okay. As long as you can see what I'm typing here, that's what matters, okay? So, right. so let's begin. So we have two crosswords. So the first one is personality types. Um, so let's see, one down. Can somebody read for us what one down is? One down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, opposite of nasty? Yeah. Okay. So what is the opposite of nasty? So it is one, nice. two, three. It's nice. four letters. It's four nice. letters. Nice. 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 Okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so nice fits. So it's four letters. Yeah. Okay, so that fits. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, Yusuf. Next we have, let's do, do we want to do two down? What order do you want to go in? Two down? Yeah, two. Okay, so can somebody read what two down is? Someone who is inconsistent and who may not be trustworthy. Inconsistent. Yeah, inconsistent and yeah. who may not be interest. I don't know. Trustworthy. Okay, so let's. It is one, two, three, four, five, six letters. Shady. Shady. Shady is five letters, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Shady is five letters, so it's not shady. Okay. What other words can we think of? Someone who is inconsistent. Everybody knows what inconsistent is. Uh, unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Unpredictable. Uh, who doesn't follow through on his or her plans. So they say they'll do something, but they don't. And someone who's not trustworthy. Sorry, Unstable. Rasa. Unstable. Unstable. Um, yeah. It could be unstable, but it's more than six letters. <laughs> so our word has to be maximum six letters. Uh, uh, yeah. Fickle, 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 I don't know. Fickle, F-I-C-K-L-E? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that works. F-I-C-K-L-E. Everybody, everybody knows what fickle is? No, I don't know. No? no? This is my unstable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Unstable, yeah. Yeah, so fickle is exactly what number two, the, the description is. Someone who is inconsistent and not trustworthy, the word, a word for that is fickle. Okay? Yusuf, maybe. Sorry? Elusive. Elusive? E L that's that's seven letters. Elusive is E L U S I V E. The maximum letters we can have is six. So so far fickle seems to fit pretty well. Okay? If we decide that it's not fickle, that it's not matching with the rest of our letters, then we can go back and change it. But for right now, is everybody okay with fickle? Yeah? Yeah, I, yeah okay. Yeah, I think I think it's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's correct. We, there's, there's no way for us to find out. We have to solve the whole crossword puzzle and then we'll okay, know. Okay, Jazeera. Oh. <laughs> what? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Is everything, is everything okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. Let's do... Well, what's the next one? Do you want to do four down? Someone like to read four down? Yeah, opposite down. of uh, yeah. introverted. Yeah, opposite of introverted. Thank you. So everybody knows what introverted is? No. No. So no? Sociable. Yeah, it is. Uh, I think. Um, uh, yeah, sociable from, maybe. So. Sociable. Someone? Yeah, exactly. Sociable. Yeah, it, the solution is sociable. The solution is, yeah. Okay, so um, so uh, you're right. It can be sociable. Introverted yeah. means somebody who is very shy. So introverted are people who uh, are not very talkative and are 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 kind. Of, they keep to themselves. Okay, so the opposite of introverted would be sociable. You're right. So, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have to have eleven letters. Social doesn't have 11 letters. So what can be the opposite of introverted? That's 11 letters. Synonyms mm -hmm. for sociable. 
It sounds very, very similar to introverted. The word that you're looking for, Rasal, it's very similar to introverted. Consists so, from 11 letters? Hmm? It's 11 letters, yeah. So oh. everybody understands what introverted means, right? It, yeah. it means yeah. someone who's shy. Okay, so if someone who is shy is introverted, someone who is not shy would be, what's the opposite of? Let's, oh. let's, let's work with this. Introverted. Okay. Yeah, it, it's it has introverted at the end, just like introverted. I'll I'll, I'll actually can write it out. Hint? Yeah? Can we get a hint? Can we hint? Okay, sure. Let's get a hint. So the first letter is E. Mm. Mm. Extrovert. Yeah, very yeah, extroverted. Enter. Okay. So the opposite of introverted, <laughs> an introverted person is someone who's very shy. The opposite is extroverted. An extroverted person is someone who's very outgoing, somebody who's very talkative and loud and very sociable. So, Rasal, you said we can write sociable. Sociable is a synonym for extroverted. They mean the exact same thing. Okay? And look, extroverted fits all the way down. So, that's our word. Okay? Is that clear for everyone? The difference yeah. between intro introverted and extroverted? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. Next, let's do uh, three across. Can someone read what three across is? Uh, someone who puts others first. Yeah, so someone who puts others first. So someone who thinks of others uh, above themselves. What's the word for that? How many letters? It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven letters, and it starts with a C. If you if you look on my screen, um, three across, it starts with a C. Consider it. Yeah, I think it's considered too. Yeah. Perfect, and then it mixes yeah. perfectly with the E of extroverted as well. Yeah, consider it. Perfect. All right, that's great. Uh, next, let's look at. Five across. Can um, someone read five across? Opposite of, of efficient. Affectionate. Affectionate. Yeah, affectionate. affectionate. Yeah. Everybody knows what affectionate is? Yeah. No. Yeah? yeah. Affectionate is to be very loving. So to be very warm and be very loving. So for example, uh, a mother. Yeah, exactly, tender. So, for example, tender, a, mo tender. a mother, oh, that's, uh, that, that means the same thing as affectionate. Uh, it's not the opposite. So, for five across, we're looking for a word that's the opposite of affectionate. So, if something is very loving and tender, what would be the opposite of that? And if you guys see, it starts with a C over here. So, five it across. Could be cold. Could be cold, yeah, you're no. right. Why not? Why do you say no, Rasal? I don't. I didn't oh. say anything. Oh no, so, Rasal. Oh. oh no, sorry. Who? Somebody saying no? I think it's. I'm not too sure. I, I can't see. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Somebody saying no. Uh, I want to. I want to explain to them why it is that. But is everybody okay with this so far? Yeah. Yeah. So opposite of affectionate is cold. Somebody who's affectionate is very loving. The opposite of that would be somebody who's cold. All right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, let's do let's do six across. Can somebody read six across for me, please? Yeah. Someone who talks a lot. Someone who talks a lot. Okay. So what would be someone who talks a lot? It is four, five, six. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. It is talkative, yeah. It fits perfectly over here. And it fits with the T of extroverted as well. Okay? So I think so far we're doing a pretty good job with this crossword puzzle. Okay. Let's look at seven down. Seven? Seven down. It is, yeah. Can someone read that for me, please? A person who is always on the go. Yeah, the person is always on the go, and we have six letters. So uh, active, active. 
Active. Yeah. Active and six letters. Okay. So everybody knows what to be on the go means? Yeah. Yeah? So you're always moving around. You're like doing stuff. You're very active. Okay. So that's perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Um, let's look at eight across. Can someone read that? Someone who avoids doing any work. Yeah. Lazy. 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 Yeah. Lazy. And it because we have fickle over here, so the L from fickle should be the same as lazy. So I think this word over here, uh, two down, fickle was the right word. So well done, guys. Okay. Next we have number nine across. Can I get somebody to read nine across? Someone yeah. is friendly and likes to socialize. 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 Yeah. So it is eight letters across, and there's an O and an E in it, right here. Socialize. Sociable. Social. Yeah. So Sociable. Sociable. Perfect. So, uh, so what would be another word for sociable? We we already covered it in class. Considerate. No, not considerate. Extro, extro, extroverted. 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 Yeah, yeah, perfect. So sociable and extroverted are mean this mean very similar things. So somebody who is outgoing. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Are these words okay for everybody so far? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Let's do. 10 across. Can somebody read 10 across for me, please? Yeah. Uh, someone, someone, someone who behaves and. Go ahead, you say. Yeah, no, no. Continue, continue, continue. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> no, continue. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yusuf, Yusuf, finish reading. Yusuf, finish reading. <laughs> okay, someone uh, who behaves uh, in a carry way toward others. Caring. Caring. Caring, way. Caring way towards others. Um, so it, it is four letters. Someone it's going to be kind. 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 Okay. kind. okay. Yeah, that looks okay because we have active here. So the I from active becomes the I in kind. Perfect. All right. Wow, you guys are like really, really doing well on this. I'm so surprised. That's awesome. Okay, number 11 across. Uh, someone you can depend on. Okay. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, le uh, eight letters across. Dependable. Dependent. Dependent. Dependable. No, dependable. Dependable. Dependable is nine letters. Yeah, yeah. Actually, dependable is ten letters. Dependent. We this is maximum eight letters. Dependent. Dependent is also nine Dependent. letters. D e p e n d e n t. So. Reliable. 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 Okay. Let's see. Perfect. Because we have the E from extroverted becomes the E in reliable. Okay. Great. Everybody knows what the reliable means? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, 12 down. Can somebody read 12 down for me? Someone who is very talkative. Okay. Yeah. It is six letters. Shit. Yeah, shit. Chatterbox. Ch chatterbox? Uh, that's more yeah. than six letters. Chatterbox is nine letters. So our Chirpy. Yeah, yeah. Chirpy. No. Chirpy. Talker. Sorry? Talker. Talker? I don't think talker is no, a no. word. It's talkative. <laughs> talkative is a no. word. And we've actually already covered it over here. Six across was talkative as well. Yeah. Gossip. <laughs> Gossip. Uh, <laughs> Gossip is a, is more of a noun. We can we can come back to this one if uh, if uh, if we're uncertain because uh, there's a couple of other more like the other words we can solve. Uh, we'll come back to twelve yeah. down. Uh, how about number fourteen across? Someone who is. Angry and unfriendly. Okay, so someone who's angry and unfriendly, it's seven letters and the middle letter is a T. 
Um. Any ideas? Someone who's angry at would be like a would be like a hate hateful. Um, if it if it's hateful, then the T, then it should be H A T E, right? But the fourth letter is a T. Do we do, do we want a hint? Yeah. Yeah? How, okay, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, let's, let's get a hint. So the first letter is H, okay? Yeah. Actually, let's get another yeah. hint. H O. <laughs> so H O. H O blank T. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay. Is it a synonym of violent or something like this? It could be H H O S T. Hostile. Hostile. Yeah. Hostile. 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 Perfect. Hostile. Yeah. So, so someone who is angry and unfriendly is some is someone who is hostile. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's look at sixteen across. Because we have the first letter for that one. Can someone read 16 across? Someone who isn't easy to get along with. Okay. Someone who isn't easy to get along with, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's nine letters, and the first letter is a D. So it starts with a D. Could be like a difficult yeah. person. Let's see. Difficult. D Defe no. Yeah, defensive? difficult. Defe yeah, Defe somebody. Yeah, yeah. It, it's difficult. It, it fits perfectly with the uh, with all the with all the boxes. So someone who isn't get easy to get along with is difficult to get along with, right? So basically, the opposite yeah. of easy, difficult. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's look at seventeen down. Can someone read seventeen down for me? Opposite of distant. Opposite of distant. So what? So every, does everybody know what distant distant is? Yeah. Um, near or what? Far. 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 Distant. Okay. Far. Okay. So opposite of distant. Uh, seventeen down. It's actually. It's actually oh eight God. letters. Yeah, it's eight letters long, and it starts with an F. Mm. Far away. <laughs> far away. It could be far away, but far away is seven letters. So far, far, further. R T H. Yeah, further. further is also seven letters. Oh. oh. Yeah, it has to be eight letters. How about how about we get a hint and we see if it actually is? It starts with an F. So it's F R. Mm. So the first two letters are F R. Yeah. Somebody who is uh, this uh, opposite distance, like uh, not relative or close to you, something like this. Opposite of distant. So I think it means like in uh, in location wise. So in the, like uh, like on the road. I don't think it means in family. Like not distant related. I think it means like in distance, like you know miles, kilometers on the road. Let's get another hint. F R I. Mm -hmm. If it is about distance related, you can say friend. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. Okay, so opposite of distant, you mean like uh, somebody who's friendly? Friendly or relative or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, th I think you're right. I, I think I was wrong when I said that it was uh, the other distant. But uh, um, I think it could be right. Does everybody see what, uh, what Yusuf is saying? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah. yeah. So someone who's yeah, someone who's distant is someone who's not friendly. So the opposite of distant would be someone who's friendly, right? Okay. Perfect. Thanks, Yusuf. Um next next let's look at what do we want to look at next? Nineteen across? Opposite of deity? Not nineteen across. Can somebody read nineteen oh. across? Yeah. Oh. 
someone who is uh, truthful and who doesn't shit or steal. Yeah. So and it is oh. what it is six letters. It's six yeah. letters, and there's an e in the middle. Frank. Mm. Uh, I don't think so. Um. Yeah. So someone who is always tells the truth is someone who is. Honest? Honest or? Yeah. Honest. It's honest. 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 Let's look at that. Perfect. There is music coming from somebody's screen, so I don't know who that is. Susanna, I think that was you. I just muted you because there's music coming from your screen and it, it's disruptive for everybody. So if you just want to turn that off, then you're more than welcome to join back. Okay? All right. Next we have, let's do 20 across. Can somebody read 20 across for me? Mm. Opposite of polite. Yeah. What's the opposite of polite? It's four letters. And there's a root. D. Yeah. Root. 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 Yeah. Opposite of polite root. is rude. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Next let's look at, let's go back to this part of our table again. Uh, how about we try 12 down again? Can somebody read 12 down? Someone who is very talkative. Yeah, so let's get a hint. It starts with a C. Chatter. Chatty. 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 C -A -T. Chatty. Yeah. Chatty. I think it's Chatty. Chatty. Yeah. We use it all the time. Yeah, I know. It's like, mm. oh, he or she is so chatty. Perfect. So it's Chatty. Uh, how about. 15 across. Can somebody read 15 across for me, please? Opposite of calm. Of calm. Yeah? Wow. What, what's the opposite of calm? It is uh, wow. five letters. Wow. Loud? Wow. Um, no, 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 no. Loud is, no, no. It, loud is four letters for one thing, um, but it's five letters and it starts with an A. Uh. Angry? Yeah. Angry, five letters. That's great. Thank you. Uh, 13. Can somebody read 13 down? Yeah. Somebody opposite read? of cowardly? Yeah. Everybody knows what cowardly means? Yeah. No. Yeah. Cowardly means someone who's scared, someone who doesn't have a lot of uh, brave. Um, yeah. So it is brave. So cowardly means somebody who is a who's not very brave, so somebody who's, uh, who's afraid and uh, who doesn't take any risks, okay? And we all know what brave means. Brave means somebody who's, who uh, yeah. stands up to the challenge, okay? We yeah. always uh, tell a cowardly one like chicken. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, are, you, are you coward like a chicken or are you brave like a lion, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Thank you. Okay, um, 18 across. Can I get somebody to read 18 across? Uh, opposite of uh, Teddy? Tidy. 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 Messy. 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 Oh, yeah. Perfect. Everybody knows what tidy is? Yeah. Yeah. Organized. Yeah. 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 Tidy is someone who's very, like, proper and organized and clean, and the opposite of that is messy. Okay? Someone like me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, it's it's always like your mother, like, don't, your room is so messy, tidy it up right now. Okay? Okay. So, um, all right. Next, let's go, let's do number 21. Can somebody read number 21 for me? Down? Uh, opposite, opposite of interesting. Of interesting. Yeah, opposite boring. of interesting. Boring. 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 21. It's, uh, it's four letters. But boring, maybe. boring is a bore. Maybe it's bore. Let's see. Let, let's get a hint. It starts with a D. So dull. dull. Yes, it's dull. 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 Yeah. So opposite. Boring is perfectly right as well. Like if uh, if this was five letters, then it would be boring. So opposite of interesting is somebody who's boring or someone who's dull. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Let's look at number 22 across. Can someone read that? Opposite 
of a smart appearance. Okay, so somebody uh, opposite of smart. So when you're dressed smartly, what's the opposite of someone who is not, I guess, looking smart? How many <laughs> letters? Uh, it is six letters, and there is a. It's sorry. It is seven letters, and there's a U in the middle and a Y at the end. Hmm. Right here. Mm. If you want a hint, let me know. I'll get a hint. Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. Let's get a hint. Okay. Um, starts with an S. 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 Scully. Scully. S Scully. Mm. I think you mean I think you mean sulky? So, mm, I don't know. No? Okay. Any any other takers? Any other guesses? Another, another letter, please. <laughs> okay, let's let's get another letter. S C. So it's S C. Oh C. So it's S C and then you have a U and then you have a Y as the last letter. I'm not going to win. Okay. SCR. Scar. Oh, it's Scar. <laughs> oh my god, she is, oh yeah. Yeah, she is there. We'll come back. I told them to stop blossoming. <laughs> we were talking about few teachers. Sorry about that. Okay, so did we figure out what the word is though? Let's, let we, me say sc we say scarfy, and we don't know. Uh, I think the word you guys want is scruffy. It's scruffy. Let's see if it makes sense. So scruffy. Okay. So uh, you guys said. But scarf we use it. But we use it with a V letter. Uh, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, you're right. I, I always use it with V letter. Scruffy. Uh, scruffy as S C R. Is it the same? Yeah, scruffy is, is not used with a V, it's used with a U. S C R U F F Y is scruffy. Scruffy. Yeah. Scruffy. Yeah. We don't we don't there's no there's no V in scruffy. Okay? So if you're using it with a V then uh, unfortunately that's the wrong spelling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay? So yeah. scruffy. So everybody gets what scruffy is? Scruffy is somebody who's yeah. not dressed very smart, okay? Someone who looks, yeah. you know, like oh, untidy basically. Another word for scruffy is untidy, okay? Yeah. Everybody can see the screen, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. And we have the last one, 23 across. Can somebody read 23 across for me, please? Someone who's very noisy. Someone who's very noisy. It's four letters and it starts with an L. Loud. Loudly, loud. 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 Um. Enter. Perfect. Let's, so let's have a look. Oh my god, look at that. You guys finished the crossword in only half an hour. 
Yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody yeah. clap for themselves. Yay. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I'm so proud of you guys. Okay. I'm glad I prepared two uh, two crosswords. I was like, oh, I, I think this. I think these people are smart. They're gonna get. They're gonna get two crosswords. Okay. Is it right? Is it all uh, right? Yeah, it's all perfectly right. It'll be right if all the words. There's no. Uh, there's no solutions for this. There's no solution manual. It's as long as everything fits um, and there's no like anomalies, then everything's perfect. Okay. So I think this is all correct. Well done, guys. I hope some. I hope some of us actually learned some new words, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to the second crossword. That is traits and feelings. Okay. So that is this one. Oof. Oh. This is yellow. Sorry about the oh. color. <laughs> Very no. bright, right? I'm no. sorry about that. I. I. No, if I. Right. If I could pick the colors, I would, but I can't. <laughs> Okay, so now we are on. Now we're on the second crossword. So let's start with one down. Can somebody read one down for me? What is it? Oh, uh, the description. It's on the second page. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it's on the second page in the same Google document. So um, Maria loves to chatter. On yeah. and on, she is talkative. Talk okay, so four, five, no, six, no. seven, eight, nine. So it's no. uh it's nine letters. Everybody think it's talkative? I, I think it could be talkative. Why not? Talkative. Yeah, I I think that's right, because it's nine letters. Yeah. It's nine letters and it goes all the way down. Oh yeah, so it's um some of the words are going to be similar because the, the topic of the uh, crossword is very similar. So personality types, okay? Okay. So I think I think it's talkative as well. Uh let's do two down. Jack's so, dog. Yeah, yeah. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Jack not run away. Jack is very. So how is he feeling? If your dog bad. runs away, mad. Jack. Bad. Well, if your dog. Bad. Bad. Mad. Sad. Bad. Bad. I think it. I think it's sad. I think bad. when your dog runs away, you feel sad, right? I would if I had a dog and he ran away. I would be sad. I'd <laughs> so. be mad. You'd be no, mad. I would be, no, I would be happy. I have a phobia from from dogs. Oh my goodness! If if I'm, my dog ran away and I took care of him for lots of years, I would be sad. I'd be like, come back to me. <laughs> let's do uh, let's do four across. I can't. There's a yeah. There's noise coming from somebody's microphone. Can uh, I think there's a child talking? So if you just want to mute yourself and you're not speaking, uh, so we're not disturbed, that would be awesome. Thank you. So can somebody read four across for me, please? I can't. I can't believe it. I made that mistake. Everyone laughed at me. I'm so, um, so, so yeah. shy or um. Embarrassed. Yeah. Embarrassed. Yeah. Yeah. Embarrassed. Yeah. So, so if you make a mistake and everybody laughs at you, then then you feel embarrassed. Okay. Yeah. Everybody knows what embarrassed means, right? Yeah. Or has yeah. heard of that word? Okay. Great. Thank you. Uh, can somebody read three across for me? Come on, guys. Three. Yeah. So we're doing three across, not three down. Okay. Yeah. So somebody read three across. Three across. Where is it? It's the second. Uh, Tranquil, peaceful, resting. Yes. Yeah. So oh, another. I think a word of that. Yeah. Another <laughs> another word for any of these things. So another word that means tranquil or peaceful or resting. How many letters? It's four letters. I didn't get it. Quiet. Quiet is Quiet. five letters. Yeah. Quiet yeah. is five Calm. letters. Calm. Yeah. Sorry? Calm. 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 Yeah. Calm. Yeah. Calm. yeah, it's calm. Sorry, just 
uh, no, this one. No. <laughs> no, sorry, no, I put it. No, no. I put it in the wrong no. one. Sorry about that. It is this one. Calm. Perfect. No. Yeah. So another word for so tranquil means somebody something that's very peaceful and serene and quiet. And same thing, peaceful, resting, calm. So they're all they're all synonyms. They all mean the same thing. Okay. okay. Uh, let's read three down. Can somebody read three down for me? Lee is always acting yeah. silly and doing strange strange things. Yeah. He's so weird. Awkward. Crazy. Crazy. He's so crazy. Weird. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. It's five letters and it's supposed to begin with a C because we, we okay. said calm. So the okay. so three down has to begin with a C as well. Perfect. Okay, he's so crazy. I think it's crazy as well. Um let's do five across. <laughs> Right. Happy. Happy. <laughs> yeah. So happy birthday, happy new year, happy anniversary. Okay? That that's fairly easy. Okay, let's yeah. do six down. Can somebody read six down? Poor uh Mark's family doesn't have much money. Mm hmm He is poor. Ooh. He is poor, yeah. So, yeah, so six down. So happy, the P from happy becomes the P in poor. Perfect. Uh, ten across. My uncle makes mm. a lot of money. He's mm -hmm. rich. Rich. Yeah. Rich. Yeah, he's rich. Perfect. I wish I had a rich uncle. <laughs> 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 okay, um, let's do, <clears throat> sorry, let's do eight across. Can somebody mm -hmm. read eight across for me? That gave me a cool birthday present. I am for, I am glad for the person. Um, it is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's no, no. eight letters. Grateful. Grateful. Yeah, I am grateful. Yeah, grateful. I am grateful for the present. Yeah. So I am glad would be I am happy that I got the present. But if you give somebody something that they really like, then they are grateful. So uh, they're they're very grateful. They're very happy that you gave it to them. Okay? Okay. So yeah, so okay. it's I am grateful for the present. Perfect. Um let's do twelve across. Uh, shy? Another can, can somebody read the sentence? Twelve across. Another word oh. for shy. Yeah. So another word for shy. It's twelve. It's uh, number twelve. It's uh, five letters across, and uh, the second last letter is an I. Super shy. <laughs> <laughs> no, another word. So another word that also means shy. So what's another word that also means shy? Mm -hmm. Do we want a hint? Do we want the first letter? Why not? Yeah, yeah? let's see. It's T. So T, <clears throat> blank, blank, I, blank. It's five letters. T. Mm -hmm. Be attentive. Uh, that's. I think that's more than five letters. That's that's like seven letters. <laughs> Polite, timid. Timid. No, I, no. Yeah, I think timid. it. I think it's timid. Yeah. Timid. Yeah. Perfect. Timid, timid. is five letters. Yes. Mm -hmm. So another word for shy is timid. That's great. Okay. Um. Let's do um. Fifteen, Nine. Fifteen across. Fifteen Carol's boyfriend broke up with her. Yeah. She has been. So when somebody desperate? breaks desperate? Desperate is a little different. When somebody breaks up with you, what do you what do you feel? Depressed. It's another, yeah. It's Depressed. Another way of, yeah. Depressed. It's another way of saying you're sad, right? Okay. So Carol's boyfriend broke up with her. She has been depressed. Desperate is when you're like 
when you're oh I I'll you take have any no hope. Yeah. When you have no hope. Not really no hope, but desperate is like, oh I have no standards. I'll take anything, you know? When it's like, oh I'm not picky or I'm not choosy, I'm desperate. I'm just gonna go for anything that I can find. Okay? So desperate is a little different. When after you become depressed, then you become desperate. So <laughs> I don't know if anybody's yeah. gone through a breakup, but that's usually the order it goes. <laughs> breakup, depression, desperate. <laughs> okay, let's do number nine across. Can somebody read? It? Can somebody read the the hints for me? Uh, the sentence. Uh, chemical, uh, comical, amusing, and playful. Yeah. So it's uh, it's five Funny. letters. Funny. Yeah. Yeah, and the last letter is a Y. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's do seven down. Somebody read seven down for me. Scared, having fear. Scared. Scared. Okay. Yeah, scared and afraid. having fear. Afraid. 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 Yeah. Afraid. Okay, so afraid. That's great. Um, let's do 13 across. Somebody read 13 across. Mad, unhappy, various. Furious. Furious, yeah. Furious, yeah. So another angry. word. For angry. 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 Yeah. angry. Yeah. So another word for mad, unhappy, furious is angry. Uh, let's do eleven down. Somebody read eleven down. Eleven. Eleven down. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Be. Yeah. So yeah. it begins. It begins with a C. It begins with a C, and it's three, four, five, six, seven, confident. eight, nine. Yeah, okay. confident. Confident. Be confident. Perfect. You guys are you guys are pretty confident. I'm 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 so impressed. That's awesome. Um, let's do number fourteen down. Somebody read number fourteen down. When I got lost, Jin gave me direction. Genius. Yes. General leader. leader. So uh, Jean is so it is it is seven letters and the second letter is an E. Explorer. Jean is E X P L. No, Explorer has more letters. It's more than seven letters. Okay. So when I got lost, Jean gave me directions. Jean is. Helpful. Gentle. Gentle. Yeah, I think it's helpful. 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 So when somebody helps you out by giving you directions, they're helpful. Yeah. Helpful. I think I, I think yeah. yeah, I think it's helpful as well. Yeah. Okay, let's do sixteen down. Somebody read sixteen down. I am I am excited about going to the beach. I am space to get there. Um, yeah. So it's uh, five letters and it starts with an E. So this one right here. Excited? No. 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 Excited is uh, it's more than five letters. So this is mm. five letters. It starts with an E. Eager, maybe. Yeah, I think it's eager. eager, eager, eager. Yeah, I think it's eager. Yeah. I'm excited about going to the beach. I'm eager to get there. So when you can't wait for something, you're eager, right? Okay. Eager. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Let's do 17 across. Somebody read 17 across for me. Michael Jordan Michael played, played, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> played basketball and baseball. He was? Somebody who plays lots of sports. What's a word for somebody who plays sports? Athlete. Oh. Athlete? Yeah, it's it's similar to athlete. What's another word? Athlete is the noun. So what would be the adjective for athlete? Somebody who is athletic? an athlete. Yeah. Athletic. Yeah, athletic. So athlete is the noun. So for example, Michael Jordan, he is an athlete. So because he's an athlete, he's athletic, okay? Athletic. Yeah, athletic. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. So athlete is uh, the person. Athletic is the adjective. What they are when they play lots of sports. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, let's look at what else. Let's look at eighteen down. Somebody read eighteen down for me. Eighteen down. Yeah. I can. I can read. Yeah. Go ahead. I can read. Can you can you read it? Uh, me. Yeah, please go ahead. I can read. Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, Taylor has a lot of smart ideas. He's he is uh, six six letters. Um, creative. No. Talented. Talented no. and creative are both uh, perfect words, but they but they're more than six letters long. It's <laughs> number nineteen. Yeah. Number eighteen. Eighteen, 18. down. 18. Yeah. Genius? Uh, genius? Genius is seven genius. letters. Clever? No, clever? sorry. Genius is six letters. Clever. I think it's, I think it's clever. Bright. He clever. is clever. Bright is seven letters. Uh, genius is okay, but we say genius a little differently. You don't say he is genius. You clever. say he is, he is a genius. Do you get what I'm uh -huh. saying? So if, yeah. it, if, yeah. if the sentence yeah, yeah. was he is a, then it would be genius. But because it's just he is blank, so it's he is clever, okay? Clever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think it's clever because it, it fits perfectly. Okay, perfect. Um, 19 down. Who'd like to read 19 down? <laughs> 19? Yeah. Ali likes to talk a lot and dance. Ali is a person. Ali is a blank person, yeah. so it's six letters. Somebody yeah. Active? Active? Um... Mm. Active? Okay, if it was active, it would be an. Ali is an active. Ah, uh, okay, okay. You get uh, what I'm saying? So no. it's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So okay, okay. So it probably begins with a consonant. Consonant. Uh, yeah. Uh, moved. 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 Uh, no, moved means different. No. Moved means to be emotionally moved. When you say somebody okay. was moved, it means that they were emotionally affected. So something else. So somebody who likes to Maybe. talk, laugh. Sorry? Happy or happy? Or happy? happy? It's six mm. letters. Happy is five no, no. letters. Oh, six. Mm. Yeah, it's, a, it's six letters. So I'll, I'll get a hint for you guys. I'll get the first letter. It's L. The first? Yeah, the first letter is L. L is love. Lovable. <laughs> Lo uh, lovable. Lovable. Lovable uh, oh. is a good word, but it's a lovable is seven letters. Yeah. Lovable is seven letters, but it, it is a six letters. I know I would love somebody who would talk at it who was talkative and loved to laugh and dance as well. I I love that person too. Who does but, not love that? Person? Yeah. <laughs> so what's the, what what is the word? I'll, uh, actually, I'll get another hint for you guys. L Lego. Lego. Lively. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I'm guessing some. Lively, this, is, yeah. this is the first time some people are seeing this word. So somebody who's very upbeat, who likes to you know talk and dance and laugh and just you know be very friendly, is a lively person. What who would be? Racy. Racy? Lazy. Yeah. Lazy. Lazy. What do you mean? R A C Y. Racy? Oh, okay. Racy, I've never heard that word, but uh, racy, uh, another word means related to race, so something that is inappropriate. So, have you ever heard of the word racy? R A C E Y? So, when, like, a lot of the more, I think racy, when I use it, I mean related to race, so it means something that's like racy and raunchy and that's sort of inappropriate. But I've never heard it be, i never heard another word for lively be racy. I'll have to look into that. But uh, does everybody understand what lively is? Yeah. Yeah, it comes, yeah, from, yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, it comes from the word to live, so someone who wants to live, uh, someone wants to live good is lively. Okay, uh, let's do 22 across. Can somebody read 22 across for me? If you are scared before a, an important test, you feel. Yeah, how do you feel? It's uh, 
five, six. You feel it's eight letters, and if you can see here, three of the letters are already filled in. So E, B, and U. So if you're scared before a test, how do you feel? If anybody's ever written a test, how do you feel before a test? Nervous. Yeah. Nervous. Exactly. Let's see. Look at that. Perfect. Fits perfectly with all our letters. Great. Okay, uh, let's do 23 across. Can somebody read 23 across for me? Mm, I can read. Yeah, please. go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, read. My little, my little brother is always <laughs> following me around and trying to copy me. He's so... Annoying. Annoying. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay, annoying. I would think that's so adorable. <laughs> Aww. All the men are like, that is so annoying. <laughs> it's annoying? It's, uh, it, 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 I think it's annoying because it fits yeah, perfectly with correct. all the letters. Yeah, it's annoying. Really? <laughs> it's I would annoying think and that's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, let's do 20 down. Somebody read 20 down for me. I don't feel like doing my homework. Um, Lazy? Yeah, I am lazy. Perfect. Four letters. Uh, 21 down? I don't understand this lesson. I am. Um, so when you don't confused. understand something. Yeah. Confused? <laughs> confused. Yeah, confused. I hope. Is anybody confused right now? <laughs> I hope you know, we are confused a, little, right a little bit. We are. Are you seriously? Tell me. I want to. I want to help. Is that? Is anybody confused? Is anything confusing about the words that we're going through? Is it okay for everyone? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. And the last one is twenty-four across. Can somebody read twenty-four across? <clears throat> My son hasn't come home from the party mm. yet. Correct. I am about to. Worry. Yeah. Worry. Yeah. Worry. The women, yeah. The first. The first answer is by a woman. Oh, my son hasn't come home. I'm worried. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's perfect. So let's uh, let's zoom out and let's have a look. And look at that. That's perfect. So we've solved two crossword puzzles. Wow, you guys are amazing. Are there any questions about any of the words that we've been through or anything that was unclear, maybe? No, thank you. No? Okay. Was um was the was this crossword too easy or was it too difficult? I want to I want to do crosswords in the future, so let me know if uh uh if you want me to do it a little bit more difficult. Or was this or was the difficulty okay? No. Yeah, it was okay, but no problem for it like more difficult. Okay. I will okay. just finish this so in time. Yeah, and we finished it just in time, exactly. We have like uh, another minute or so left in and class. And we had fun, really. Yeah, you had yeah, fun? That's okay, fun. that's great. Yeah. It was my, uh, <laughs> that's perfect. It was my first time doing um, a class on crosswords, so I'm glad, I'm glad you guys had fun. I have another class um, uh, in so, another hour, but that's, uh, that's like an advanced level class. I, I don't know if anybody would be joining me for that, anybody from here. What is about it? It's um, I, it's an advanced class on. Uh, we're going to be reading um, a, an article in a, from a science magazine. That's like an advanced level class. I, I don't know. Um, so if uh, so if somebody if if there's somebody who's comfortable with that material, uh, I'd love to have you join me. So people are going to be reading, and then we're going to be discussing what we are reading and uh, looking at some of the uh, the use of English language in the article and how it's been structured okay uh, but for right now yeah there's another teacher with another class um, I'm gonna head out I'm just going to let everybody know that if you haven't already done so please make sure that uh, you join my Facebook page because I do post um, uh, every week I post a song up there and it's for everybody who'd like to practice their listening and reading and writing skills in English so that's a uh, it's an English song and I uh, post up lyrics and you fill in the blanks for the lyrics to a uh, to listen and stuff. So I've posted the link to my Facebook over there as well. Um, I'm heading out now. Thanks everybody for attending, for joining, and I maybe I'll see you guys in my next class. Thank, Thank you. So okay, Thank no you so worries. Okay. Bye guys. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.